What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Uh, thanks for hanging out for another lesson. This one is uh, more of a 90s jam, 311. Amber is the color of your energy. So anyway, let's get to it. All right, so I've got a clean amp. I'm using the bridge pickup. Then I add an MXR envelope filter from the late 70s, and that adds this. That auto wah sound. Then I add some delay. Then I add a little reverb. All right, so let's get into the lick. Now, the lick, they're pretty much arpeggios off the chord progression. So let's talk about the chords real quick because it's just, it's helpful to know. C, if you took a C major chord, A minor, and E minor. That's the bulk of this song. I mean, there's, there's a D minor and a G as well. And we got the rhythm and the bar chords that I'm gonna show you. But if you look at the melody, that first part there, that's a piece of a C major seven arpeggio. It's when you play the notes of a chord individually. So we're gonna slide from, from two to three on the D string. Ring finger goes to fifth. And then middle finger goes to fourth of the G. And then back to that fifth of the D. And then with that same finger, we're gonna slide up to seven, and now we're gonna grab an A minor. Remember I said C, A minor, and E minor? The A minor arpeggio is right here. So from five to seven on the D, and then across the five, G, B, G. Put those together. It sounds like it does the first one again, but it's actually so you're hitting the open D, grabbing the second fret and sliding to the five, which is part of an E minor arpeggio. So if you use your middle finger, then you can grab the fourth of the G with your index. And then it's easy to go D, G, D. And there's a little piece of, now A minor and C major are very similar chords. There's a little piece of it with a different tracked guitar. It's just a piece of that A minor, which is also a piece of the C. 
nice little double stop on the fifth fret of G and B. Next, we're going to do the uh, skanky reggae rhythm that's going on. So you got that lick. Then you have those chords, C bar chord, C major bar chord, eighth fret major card chord, A minor, barred on the fifth fret minor, and then E minor right here where I'm barring the seventh fret of and the roots on the A, so that looks like an A minor looking shape. And in reggae, if you're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you're going to be hitting a very staccato skank on the ands. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You're skanking on the and. One and two and three and four and one and two and. Like that. So one. And if you get lost on that, especially when you're playing a reggae alone, just the guitar like that, it's not very reggae-ish. Uh, you kind of need some more rhythm going on, and I'll show you more to, to that. But if you're trying to just get a basic rhythm of, of reggae, one, the bar chord enables you to, to get that real staccato, not... You know, it's... I mean, you're like barely want to press enough to hear the chord. You know, I'm squeezing it and cutting it off real quick. Right? So one, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and Whoa. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, Then you got D minor, which is that fifth fret bar. G. Oops. Yeah. So now you can do this, 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a, and then squeeze on those ands, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, this is going like that, this is going 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Depending on if you're playing it with a band or not, you know, if you're playing it with a band and you've got an organ and another guitar player, there's going to be times where you don't want to be that busy and you literally just want to be. Because some of the other is getting filled in there, right? But that's another option. Also, depending on what's going on, even though you're playing the full bar chord, the skankiest part is the higher strings. So you don't have to, you know, you know, you can get right on the. Like that. All right. So. Now, there's a cool solo.
And this all comes from the C major scale. Uh, I looked at a live version, and he had an octaver, and he was playing single notes. But here's the sound. <laughs> So you just lock a shape in, and the, str the B string's getting muted by my index finger. So I'm not barring. I'm using the tip of the finger on the G and then letting it come across and mute the B. And then my pinky is a, what's called a minor third up. So one, two, three frets up on the high E. So that's just like a little shape that gets locked in. So I slide from seven to eight and hit eight again. So up to 10, up to 12, back down. Then to eight, up to 10 again, slid down to the seven. So eight, eight, 10, 12, 10, 8, 10, 7. Great little double stop action here with the C major scale. C major scale. We're going to go like this. So ring is on the 9 of the D, index is on the 7 of the G, and we play those two. And then I track my ring finger down to the 5, and then I grab the 4 of the G. Put that together. Lucky for us, we get to play that first melody again, so we don't have to learn anything new. Then he just does something a little different there, which would be, it was like the minor pentatonic. Seven, ten, seven. And then a quick, it's a different track, but then you could hit this uh, this eighth fret again on the high E, and then it goes into a double stop thing. So Okay, so, so we're starting here, three on the D, they're all on the D and the G, so three and two, up a whole step. Then you slide that up a half step and ring finger grabs the seven of the D and then you have five of the G. So. That shape, up a hole, then this, then back, the same shape. Then we're going to do this shape up to this one, and then this shape goes up a whole step. Back down. So it's that same kind of uh, movement, but
but a, but one step up the scale. So you've got. Because of the slide effect, I change my ring finger there so I can go. But if you go, that's okay. Then it goes up the next part of the scale. So you have this, this is the same. And then the first shape, which would be 10 on the D, 9 on the G. Then back down. ending right here. They're all the same shape up and down. And there's only two shapes if you've noticed. There's the two together and then there's the separate. So you have And then when you get to this, the five and the six there, you add the six on the B makes it G7 into is the color of your energy right so the whole solo oh let's see So then there's also a bridge to the song, and it follows the little piece of the scale again. So you have this little C major, but it's really just kind of the high notes of it. And then the D minor, then the E minor. And, but I'm just holding the, the top three. And then the middle finger will be on the 13 of the B up to the 15 of the B. So, uh, bah, and then you grab the 15 of the high E. It's just one of those little, little embellishments off of a minor chord. So. have an F chord do, 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 to E minor, F to E minor again, do, 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 do. and then a G major chord, and if you add, if you play a little, and if you're in a band or whatever, it's basically a G major 6, you can get the uh, fifth fret of the B in there. But it's just a G. Just think of G. So you have uh, crap. A minor to E minor. Same thing. And then now with the F, if you. can do fancy stuff if you, uh, for instance, you could play one, three, three, and then the open. And then slide down to E minor. All 
ride. Hope you had fun with it. Thank you again for supporting Marty Music. You can request lessons in the comments below while you're down there. I appreciate if you would subscribe. You know, that support is just, uh, you know, helps fuel my motivation to keep teaching. So thank you for that. <laughs> and uh, hope to see you again soon.